Hey everybody, this is Tom Shaw from SMI. I'm checking in with my friends around Northern Illinois and see how everyone's doing. Today I'm with Tasha Marsalia from the Plainfield Chamber of Commerce. She's the Executive Director. Tasha, how are you doing? Hanging in there, hanging in there. How are you? About the same. <laughs> These times are definitely different right now. Yeah. So can you tell us how the COVID-19 um, crisis has affected the chamber and the chamber members in Plainfield? Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, chambers actually across, I would, I mean, even say the U.S., but um, Illinois as a whole, um, we rely strictly on membership dues and event revenue. And so once this actually all hit, um, you know, immediately we had to stop promoting events that we're planning on happening, you know, throughout the beginning of the year. Um, so it has definitely affected us drastically. Uh, we had to postpone our greeter program that we've had for over 25 years, which is a program that our residential greeter goes and visits with people at homes when they've just moved in or moved to a different location in Plainfield and give them information on some of our businesses that are participating in it. Um, so it's definitely been a huge change for us. Um, you know, we have had to change everything like everybody else virtually. And we really kind of have taken that step back as far as not so much about the chamber um, the first few months. And it's it's been about our businesses and our community. Um, you know, so trying to get the word out to so many businesses of things that are offered for them. Um, and, it, you know, definitely, like I said, it's, it's trying times. It's going to be difficult yeah. even coming back, you know, in June, because for us, you know, we're going to be able to work in our office, but we still can't have those events, you know, so it's, yeah. you know, constantly tra changing those things right now. Mm -hmm. So what are some of those resources that uh, you want the local business community to be aware of? Absolutely. So we created at the very beginning of all of this, and this is just more of local um, information for businesses and restaurants. Um, the chamber actually created two Facebook pages. Uh, one of them has just blown up to you can't even imagine, um, but one is a restaurant page. And this is not just for chamber members. We opened this up to the community and some surrounding communities. Uh, we have over 9,000 people that are a part of that Facebook page. And this is an opportunity for businesses or restaurants, I mean, to post the different um, specials that they have going on if they're open, their hours of operation, but it's also giving com the community an opportunity, you know, honestly, to try out some new restaurants they didn't know was around. And I think that was one of the biggest things that I wanted to focus on. Again, not just chamber members, but our community as a whole, because that's huge. Um, and then the other page is strictly for businesses, smaller businesses, and, you know, curbside information, kind of the same thing. It's at a smaller scale. Um, and so that's just a local aspect of things. Um, and then the chamber has really been pushing out and did push out on our social media platforms, our website as well, all of the same information that a lot of businesses um, are getting through the SBA, um, through the state, the different types of loans and grants that are available and kind of offering some of those calls one-on-one, -on -one. Um, also having guest speakers come on and talk about the process when this was all first rolling out. Um, and, you know, obviously that has started to slow down a little bit uh, because people have either applied, received it, or the money has ran out, you know, and I know people are still trying to make sure they get things in there. So that's really kind of what we've focused on um, the past two months, honestly, is just being there and, and getting that information out to everybody. Are there any uh, local community not-for-profit that you'd like to give a shout out to? Absolutely. So um, we, if anybody is familiar, we did a Nice to See You Plainfield uh, live concert um, a couple weekends ago. And the nonprofits that were behind this, this is again one of those things where these nonprofits came together. These are service organization nonprofits that normally are trying to raise money for themselves, decided to come together as one and raise funds for our community and be able to donate that money directly back to your first responders, your faith based organizations. Um, and it, it's, it, it's been and your food pantries. And it's been, it was a huge thing to be a part of that and see them not like, oh, it's just about me. It was about everybody as a whole. So I would say our Plainfield Kiwanis Club came together, the Lions Club, your Plainfield Junior Women's Club, your Rotary Club. Those are 
I mean, again, those are the service organizations, but then to see our food pantries, Plainfield Interfaith, Green Harvest Food Pantry, those organizations really trying to help support everybody, but getting the support from the community as a whole. So, I mean, definitely kudos to them because, you know, they're in a very tough time as well. And to see everybody come together and work through that has, has been a huge thing. So. Well, thanks so much for your time today. It's really good seeing you and hearing Absolutely. about everything you guys are doing. Keep up the good work. Thank you. We appreciate it. Everybody stay healthy.